materials needed in this lesson are blue, white and black paint, a couple of paint brushes, a paint palette, two pieces of paper, an eraser, a ruler, a pencil and a cup of water. In this video we're going to look at the artist Chuck Close. Chuck Close was an American artist noted for his highly inventive techniques used to paint the, height of the human face. He is best known for his large-scale photorealist portraits. The artist has reproduced and magnified both the mechanical shortcomings of the photograph, blurriness and distortion including the flaws of the human face. To make his paintings close superimposed a grid on a photograph and then transferred a proportional grid to his gigantic canvases. Close and applied acrylic paint with an airbrush and scraped off the excess with a razor blade to duplicate the exact shadings of each grid in the photo. By imposing such restraints, Close hoped to discover new ways of seeing and creating his art. In this art activity, we are limiting your palette and just focusing on value. Value means the lightness or darkness of a colour. You may focus on a single colour or just a warm or cool colour combination. Step one is to take your ruler and create a grid. Here I've just used the width of my ruler and then I've done uh, five centimeters going across. Step two is to mix up a value that you want. Um, here I'm just mixing up a little bit of white paint and a little bit of blue paint and I'm actually going to paint the entire background. Do make sure that you mix your paint with a little bit of water so that you're able to see the pencil line still underneath. In step 3, try to replicate the same types of shapes that Chuck Close used in his paintings. You will also notice that in this video I change from portrait to landscape to change the momentum and keep the shapes interesting and different from each other. Here you can use a different range of values by mixing black or white to the blue that you use and make it more interesting visually. To finish this activity you can glue it into your sketchbook with the glue stick. If you prefer you can also add a little bit of black mounting paper to make it look professional and then lastly stick in your printed handout on the left hand side. For those without a printer at home, if you prefer, you can just write the title at the top, which is Colour Cells, Chuck Close, and then you can just write a few notes taken from the artist study page and have it that way to complete. 